I've been spending a ton of time interacting with Uniswap V3 with code, basically trying to do this, swap something like ETH to Uni, except doing this with code. This is a prerequisite for doing anything cool like automating arbitrage. Now, after spending an embarrassing amount of gas on mainnet, I decided to switch over to a testnet. But then I ran into a problem. Not only can I not look up a pool address using the Uniswap subgraph, this works for looking up pool addresses on mainnet, but not any testnets. And I can't use info.uniswap.org. Normally, oh, for mainnet, I could click this button here and it would take me to the deployed address for the pool. But again, that doesn't work for test nets. And if you try to do any searching, people are just going to say, use get pool. And get pool is a function on the Uniswap factory, which allows you to pass in the address of two tokens and a fee, and it returns the address of a deployed pool. There's even a problem with this though. I'm here on uh, ether scan for the Robston testnet. If I try to look up the deployed address for the Uniswap token, take a look at this. It's been deployed a ton of different times to different addresses. And I don't know which of these addresses actually relates to the Uniswap that I'm selecting here inside the UI. And while the main contracts for Uniswap are the same regardless if you're on the mainnet or a testnet, that's not always the case for any of the tokens you might be swapping. So after pulling my hair out for about 15 minutes, I figured out a way to solve this that should basically always work. Here's what you do. You go to Uniswap, And I'm only going to buy a tiny amount because test ether is very hard to come by. And I execute a transaction on the testnet version of Uniswap for the two tokens I'm interested in trading programmatically with code. Let's do this swap. I'm just going to approve that. Now there's a lack of mining on a lot of test nets, so this may take a little time, but it can be as fast as a minute or so. So let's just wait until this completes. You can open up your MetaMask and you can go view account on Etherscan and that will open up your transaction details for your wallet in Etherscan. So here I have my wallet in Etherscan with transactions that I've made with it. And I'm gonna open up the latest transaction. And here I have that transaction that I made in the UI. And we can see here the tokens that were transferred. So all we need to do is open up these two tokens and that now gives us the token addresses that we can plug into that get pools function. So here I have the address for Judy swap on the Robston testnet. And here I have the address for wrapped ether on the Robston test network. Let's write some code and I'll show you how to actually run that get pools function. So in our terminal, let's make a new directory here and we'll call this find pool uniswap. And let's cd into that. Now let's initialize npm, npm init-y, and then we'll install a few libraries. We'll need ethers for interacting with the blockchain. We'll need .env to store my environment variables. And then we'll also need the SDK core. Now let's create a file, the same name as our directory, find pool uniswap.js, and let's open this up.
So inside our file, we're just going to require a couple libraries to start. We'll need ethers. We'll need the ABI for the Uniswap V3 factory. Now let's require .env and call .config. And this will allow us to access environment variables in a .em file. And let's import Infura URL testnet equals process dot env dot Infura URL testnet. And then let's actually create that dot m file and store this variable. So for this, you will need to put in your own URL. I won't show mine here. The next thing is to set up those addresses that we saw in the URLs for our tokens. So we will have address zero and address one to represent the two tokens in the pool that we're looking for. We need to write this inside a function, so we'll just call that function main, and then we'll call it. And inside here, the first thing we'll do is get the provider using the infra URL. So new ethers providers dot JSON RPC provider, and then we will pass in our URL, which has the credentials built into it already. Next, we need to get the factory address for the Uniswap factory, and we can grab that on Uniswap's website in their docs. And that's here in Uniswap docs.uniswap.org slash protocol slash reference slash deployments. It ends in 84. Now we need to initialize the contract for that factory so that we can call functions on it. We'll name that factory contract and then we'll do new.ethers. Contract, and then we'll pass in the factory address. We will pass in the ABI that we imported, and then we will pass in the provider. Now let's get the pool address. So factory contract dot get pool and let's double check the arguments that that takes okay and i have it here in the docs for v3 so it takes the address of the first token the address of the second token and a fee i'll explain the fee in one sec so it takes the address of the first token the address of the second token and then the fee which is in bips and you may not know this, but there can actually be multiple different pools for the same two tokens. There can be a Uniswap pool for every combination of two tokens and a fee. And there's three different fee tiers for Uniswap. You can see that 
uh, when you are trying to create a pool yourself. Let's really quickly do that in the UI. So if we go to pool, new position, ETH to uni, we can see that there's three options here. There's the 0.05% fee, the 0.3% fee, and the 1% fee. You don't have to understand those too much right now, but just know that there are three different possible fees. And if we look in the GitHub code for the Uniswap V3 factory, we can see here in the constructor that the different options are 500, 3000, and 10,000. And those relate to those three different fee tiers. So this is what you actually want to plug in to get pools. So in my case, I plugged in 500, but you could plug in one of the other two as well. Now let's do console.log and let's log this pool address. And let's cross our fingers for no errors and run this code. So node find pool uniswap.js and unexpected identifier ethers. And this shouldn't be a dot here, this should be a space. Let's run that again. Nice. So we have the address of our pool here. And if we change the fee, so if we change that from 500 to the 10,000 tier, and we reran this, we would get a different pool because there's a pool for each um, of the three fees. And if we take this and we go to robstan.etherscan.io and we search this, this is the contract for that pool. If this helped you, give it a like and subscribe. And if you found a better way to do this, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Until next time.